Ladies and you gentlemen, know? we've got one more trailer for a TV series that starts November the 18th. Good series is on the second season. Here's a little snip of what they have in store. I've spent nine years behind these walls in this cell for a crime I didn't commit. It tore my family apart. I'm going to need you. Your grandson is going to need you, too. Of course, me, my friends. I can't do this without you, Jim. You're my only friend here. Becoming a lawyer helped set me free. Mm. Mr. Wallace deserves an opportunity to present his defense before a new jury. Now I'll free others, wrongly accused. Don't forget, I won't. You showed the world they were wrong and you were right. You can't back down now. I won't. I'm getting you out of here too. I'm your lawyer now. And now the real fight begins for life season premiere wednesday november 18. man let me tell y'all something this is a great show to be on abc i did reviews last year this is this is a real life story ladies and gentlemen 50 cent was able to portray pretty much the real life story to a t of aaron wallace how he found a loophole in jail to become a lawyer he started getting people off and it was at one point in time where his own wife was dating his best friend who didn't get arrested when they raided his club and arrested him because there was drugs being sold in the club. Meanwhile, his daughter is pregnant with the grandkid. That was all last season. And this is season two. So if you really want to see a real life black African-American male hero who did not quit, I would implore you. Go watch season one if you missed it, but definitely pick up on season two. Nita the Diva, what do you think? I love For Life. I've been watching the show since it first started. Mm -hmm. Basically for the lead actor, Nicholas Pinnock. That yep. you sound like if you close Denzel. your eyes, Denzel. don't you hear Denzel? His That's, cadence, yeah. his, I mean, just the way he talks, the way he... Mm -hmm. Oh my God, yes. I could just listen to him and be like, yes, yes. Oh, oh, oh Lord. Other Here than that, it's a great, it's a great storyline. <laughs> it's a great storyline. <laughs> I do appreciate that it is um a true story. And so yeah, I definitely like it. And it definitely, I think um I think the story um has ended, and I think they, they're gonna be taking some liberties of how it's gonna right. go further right. on down the line i think they uh cut it off when he maybe gets out of jail or something like that and then they're gonna right. maybe keep it going or something like that so i'm here for it yep larry my brother yeah i don't know man i don't know if i can get down with it because i'm not sure I, i'm not sure if i can get down with 50 cent anymore man i mean he's out oh. there talking about He's out there talking about don't don't oh, vote for Joe Biden because he's gonna raise your taxes and all this other crap, and he's up there telling people to vote for Trump. I don't, I, I don't know if I can f with him right now. I'm not sure if I can. I mean, so I you, feel like I feel like when you start turning on your community, your community needs to go ahead and put you in time out and, and make you realize that without us, all your projects go away because without your foundation, you don't have Jeff. And so. I mean, I just, I can't get it at some point. I mean, it's too serious of a time for me just to push that to the side, what he's talking about. That's, that's foolishness and, and, and tomfoolery and, 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 and a betrayal to the community. I can't do it over some taxes, taxes. I'm about to go oh, Allen yeah. Iverson on you taxes. I mean, taxes. Well, if you, if you, gonna, if you're going to pick on him, you might as well pick on ice cube too. Talking about he's trying to do a platinum plan with Trump. Well, I'll tell you what, if you had put a trailer up here with Ice Cube, I would have had some words about him too, but you put one up with 50 Cent, so I'm talking about but him But he has right a different now. message. I mean, dude's up there. I mean, let's be real. Ice Cube was trying to do something. I don't know what he was trying to do, and the timing was bad, and it seems like he really just got played. He tried to enter into a political arena and, and got played. And and but But 50 Cent just was up there just being petty. Talking about he don't want, I mean, you're a, you, dude, you have a billion dollars and you're worried about paying some damn taxes. I mean, for real, if you, if, I mean, 
If you don't want to pay, he's talking about it's going to be 62% or something like that. You don't want to pay the damn taxes. Do like a lot of other people do and just go move your money offshore. Go take, go get residency in, in the Cayman Islands or something and then move your money over there. But don't get sit up there and encourage people to not vote for Biden. Most people in this country do not earn enough money where Joe Biden's tax plan is going to affect them. And, and they've already said, if you don't make $400,000 or more a year, Joe Biden's tax plan is not going to hurt, is not going to change your life one iota. So now if you're a billionaire, multimillionaire, sure, it's going to cause you some problems because you should pay more taxes. You've been getting away with it for a long time. Millionaires and billionaires utilize the vast majority of the resources of the United States government, and they should pay for that privilege. And they have not been. And so, you know, when now that someone's talk, standing up and saying, yeah, it's OK, we're, we're happy to let you use the resources, but you're going to have to pay for it. All that stuff costs money. Every time we have to send troops overseas to go protect pipelines and, and, and waterways and, and, and you know, and, and whatever else they're protecting. All the times we have to send diplomats overseas to secure trade, you know, trade deals. All that costs money. You know, and so you're gonna have to pay for it. So I, I mean, I don't have a problem with that. But 50 Cent just going straight coon ass shit, telling people not to vote for to vote for Trump and not to vote for Biden. And the, I mean, you're telling someone to vote for a dude that whose daddy was a Klan member, and this dude is a is a is a flat out racist. What kind of who does that? Who does that to their own people? People who are rich and out of touch and forgot what the hell gutters they came out of. Simple as so, that. So no, I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that. But you're gonna still watch. But you, but you're still gonna watch Power. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish out the season with you, and then we're gonna revisit that. Okay. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I had some real problems with the. I had some real problems with the black people out there that are making stuff. They keep. I mean, they make some content that I want to enjoy, but then they, then they go out there and they make all of their political crap known, or their, or their messages they send through their content is so bad that I feel like, damn. I want to support them, but at some point I can't because I can't support messages that are derogatory towards me. Like with Lena Waithe, at some point I have to say, look, I want to see black actors out there. I want to see black men and women getting their shine, acting. I want to see directors and producers and line directors and, and craft service. I want to see all the black people out there in these productions getting their shine on. But I'm not going to sit up there and support a program that's basically making black men look like the lowest common denominator of society. I just I can't do it. And, and and it's like it's either either make either make things equitable, or or I'm just not going to support. It. I'm not saying that every black man that, that's in our shows needs to have a cape on and be and be Superman, but don't show every black dude out there that that you know as a bad dude or a, or you have a, a a good black man in your show. And so what do you do with them? You kill them. You kill all the good ones. What does that say to black men out there? Don't be good because if you are, you'll get killed. You know, Pop, I mean, Papa, they, Papa and his daddy didn't die. Papa's daddy is not a good dude. He, they that's turned him point. terrible. That's a good point. That's, that's they a good turned point. him terrible. And, and even worse, it's even worse with him because he's a pastor. He's a man of faith that we are supposed to be able to feel comfortable putting our trust in. And they and she took that. Hey, man, she they went. From him. I was once told if there's any two group of people you shouldn't trust, it's politicians and pastors. I mean that may be the case, but she right. The, the the people, who did she show as a good man this last season? She showed one dude that was a good man who was a homeless alcoholic who got murdered in the end. Yeah, I mean for real. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the day. This episode was all to feature Nita the Diva, and you all go subscribe to Nita the Diva's channel. Thank you. Thank we you are glad you we're glad you came through. It.